is a region known for its dramatic coastline and rugged mountains. But Calabria in southern Italy is also home to a mafia powerhouse, namely the Indrangheta. And federal police now believe they are fueling the drug trade down under. They are pulling the strings of Australian outlaw motorcycle gangs who are behind some of the most significant violence in our communities. And the violence has been deadly. Tit for tat shootings that have most recently wreaked havoc in our suburbs. Police search warrant! And while police raids are attacking the problem locally, intelligence has revealed a strong influence from overseas. They are responsible for 70 to 80 per cent of the world's cocaine and they are flooding Australia with illicit drugs. Detectives are investigating 51 Italian organised crime groups in Australia. 17 of them are based in New South Wales, 14 of which are hiding out in the regions. Another 14 are in Victoria, a further nine operate out of South Australia. The remaining ones are in Queensland, Western Australia and the ACT. Up to 5,000 individuals are on watch. The revelation, thanks to information seized from a secret app that was planted in the mobile phones of organised criminals as part of an undercover sting involving the AFP and the FBI. As well as smuggling tonnes of illegal drugs into Australia, Italian Mafia members are also accused of washing their profits through the economy. Police say millions of dollars a day are being laundered through legitimate businesses in the construction, catering and agricultural industries. If we don't cut off the head and tail of organised crime, we face living in a very different Australia. And authorities admit this next phase of Operation Ironside will be long and challenging. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.